Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on culture and identity. In this video, we're going to look at the work of Tushman et al. on symbolic annihilation. Gay Tushman's work on symbolic annihilation, particularly in her influential 1978 essay, The Symbolic Annihilation of Women by the Mass Media, delves into the underrepresentation or misrepresentation of women in the media, resulting in their symbolic annihilation. This concept refers to how media representation marginalises certain groups by either omitting, trivialising or condemning them. Tushman, alongside colleagues Arlene Kaplan-Daniels and James Benet, highlighted the significant role of media in shaping societal perceptions and reinforcing gender stereotypes. Symbolic annihilation encompasses three primary mechanisms, omission, trivialization, and condemnation. Tushman argues that women's experiences and contributions are systemically excluded from media narratives, essentially erasing their presence in public consciousness. When women do appear in media, they are often depicted in trivial roles or in ways that demean and belittle their importance. Furthermore, when women deviate from traditional gender norms, they are frequently portrayed negatively or condemned, reinforcing patriarchal values and discouraging deviation from established norms. Tushman et al. examined how media representations perpetuated gender stereotypes, presenting women primarily as homemakers, sexual objects or peripheral characters whose roles are secondary to those of men. These depictions reinforce the notion that women's primary value lies in their appearance and their relationships with men, rather than their individual achievements or capabilities. By consistently presenting such limited and stereotypical portrayals, the media helps maintain and legitimise gender inequality. In their work, Tushman and her colleagues analysed various forms of media including television, newspapers and advertisements, to demonstrate the pervasive nature of symbolic annihilation. They provided historical context by tracing the evolution of media portrayals of women from the early 20th century to the late 1970s. This analysis revealed how the media has consistently mirrored and reinforced social attitudes towards women, often lagging behind social progress in terms of gender equality. In their analysis, Tushman et al. found several examples of symbolic annihilation in the media. In classic TV shows like I Love Lucy and The Honeymooners, women were often portrayed as housewives, whose primary concerns revolved around domestic chores and supporting their husbands. These shows trivialised women's roles by presenting them as secondary to the men, reinforcing the idea that a woman's place was in the home. A notorious example in advertising is a 1950s advertisement for Van Hughes and Ties, which depicts a woman kneeling on the floor, serving breakfast in bed to a man, with the tagline, show her it's a man's world. This ad trivialises and condemns women by reinforcing submissive and servile roles. And in news coverage, historically women's issues received significantly less coverage compared to men's. When covered, when covered women's stories were often relegated to soft news sections, such as lifestyle or fashion, rather than the front page or main news sections indicating a form of omission and trivialisation. The concept of symbolic annihilation has profound implications for society. Tushman et al. argue that media representations shape public perception and contribute to the socialisation process influencing how individuals understand gender roles and expectations. When women are continually portrayed in limited and negative ways, it affects not only how men view women, but also how women perceive themselves and their potential. And this can lead to internalised sexism, reduced self-esteem and limited aspirations among women and girls. Tushman et al. also discussed the ways in which feminist movements have challenged symbolic annihilation by advocating for more accurate and diverse representations of women in the media. They highlighted the importance of media literacy and critical consumption 
encouraging audiences to question and critique the portrayals they encounter. By raising awareness and pushing for change within the media industry, feminists aim to disrupt the patterns of symbolic annihilation and promote a more equitable and inclusive representation of women. Although Tushman's work was published in the late 1970s, the concept of symbolic annihilation remains highly relevant today. While there have been improvements in media representation, many of the issues Tushman identified persist. Women, particularly those from marginalised groups, continue to face underrepresentation and misrepresentation in various forms of media. The ongoing discussions around diversity and inclusion in media highlight the enduring significance of Tuchman's analysis. More contemporary examples include the Bechdel test, which evaluates whether a film features at least two women who talk to each other about something other than a man. And this highlights ongoing issues in media representation, as many contemporary films still fail this test, indicating persistent symbolic annihilation. Women's sports also receive far less coverage than men's sports. For example, despite the rising popularity of women's football, media coverage and commentary remain disproportionately focused on men's leagues. And in social media, influencers and celebrities often perpetuate narrow beauty standards and gender norms, reinforcing the trivialization of women's value to their appearance and social relationships rather than their skills or achievements. The work of Tushman and her colleagues on symbolic annihilation provides a critical framework for understanding the media's role in perpetuating gender inequality. By exposing the mechanisms through which women are omitted, trivialized and condemned, Tushman et al. challenge us to recognize and address the biases inherent in media representations. Their work underscores the importance of striving for more equitable and accurate portrayals of all individuals, fostering a media landscape that reflects and respects the diversity of human experience. That concludes this Chief to You Sociology topic video on culture and identity. Looking at the work of Tushman et al. on symbolic, on symbolic annihilation. Thanks for watching.